I'm working on my next project of trying to find replacement parts for the premier pump. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to answer one of the questions that I get a lot. And that is how to clean uh, this filter that's on top of the vacuum pump. Now, it's one of these little things that just because you can doesn't mean you should. I'm going to show you what's inside this and how to tear it apart and how to do a little bit of maintenance on it, but you really shouldn't need to clean it. And we'll discuss that later. But anyway, you know that this thing goes on top of the Premier pump, right in that hole there. Well, if you want to take this apart, there's a couple of things you have to do. You have to look at the back end of this, and you'll notice that, say, at 12 and 6 o'clock, there's kind of a long little support uh, bracket or support structure on these sides. But at 9 and 3 o'clock, you'll see the support structure has like a little notch here and a little notch here. And that's basically to lock the cover into the base. And so what is needed, you need to release these little tabs to slide the top off. And so if you come to 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and I'm sorry, but that's in relationship to me. If I squeeze this like that, and maybe you can see this flex, it's pulling away on these two sides. Push and pull this out, it'll slide right off. Best way of doing it is to have it on your pump. Now, I've already took my case off, so I'm not going to have the, the advantage of weight. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some blue tape. I'm going to mark the 12 and 6 o'clock part so I know that when this thing is on, which side I need to flex. So I'm just going to screw this back on. So I'm going to flex on both of these sides right here. And you can just pull that top right off. Okay, I'm not going to take this back off again. Now, I kind of had to turn this sideways because I didn't have the benefit of all the weight holding this down. So this is the inside, and this is the cover right here. Well, it's pretty obvious that you have a Phillips screw right here, and then down here you have this little clip. Do not remove this clip because something could happen that's going to be detrimental. We'll remove it later on. So I'm just going to get my little screwdriver here. And we're just going to take this apart. These are pretty much, these caps are self-cleaning, so they do not need to be cleaned with any solvent. And there's a little rubber pad right here that kind of acts as a, a valve. And then on the top of here, you'll see this big uh, groove. And yes, you're right, it's almost like a big screwdriver. And I just have this little pry bar that happens to be the same size. And you can unscrew that there and just take this apart. And this is a filter element. Now, the way this works is the oil being driven by air current can flow up through the center hole and it hits this medium. And what it does, this medium will become saturated. Now the air will flow through the medium and out into the atmosphere. The oil will collect on this medium and will drip down the medium and collect in this little cup thing down here. And then you can see there's a little weep hole on this side. This is a little vent hole right here. But in the inside, the oil will come through this port right here and go back into the machine. Now inside this little port, let me show you right here, we're going to take this little pin out, but you want to keep this upright because behind this pin is a little ball bearing. So we're going to slide that back. So I got the little pin out here. Now usually this will, you can try hitting it with your hand to try to bring that ball bearing out, but it usually won't want to come out. That's when you end up using Mr. Straw. And you can put the straw right down in that tube, suck on the, t the straw, and you can pull this little ball bearing right out. Now, sometimes this ball bearing could get stuck inside of here, but if you have to, you can just get a little Q-tip 
and just kind of clean this out and then put the ball bearing back in and then you got this little clip that little clip right there and the way I prefer to do it is slide it right through the two little holes like that and flip it over on its side and that will hold the ball bearing back into place. I've talked to the manufacturer of these filters and they recommend do not clean this with any with anything at all especially water because if this becomes moist it's going to prevent the oil from saturating this and dripping down and trying to dry this out is extremely difficult now at this point you really can't take this apart any further without damaging it so just because you can doesn't mean you should do not clean this I mean you can make sure that the ball bearing is clean down there but that's something that would rarely ever happen but I'm just kind of showing you what this looks like because I know there are those of you out there that like to tinker and you like to take things apart so I'm showing you how to do that so anyway I'm gonna take this filter and we're gonna put it back inside the housing and we're gonna screw it back into place and just give this just a little bit of a turn to tighten it up and we'll put the flapper valve back on here with the screw and the washer like so so you can see where there's a little ridge here and a little ridge here and that corresponds to the locking units here and locking units there so then we're just going to take this and just put the flanges into grooves all the way around like so and when you put it together you should hear a little bit of a click just like that well I can remove my tape now and that's how you take your filter apart Perhaps this animation can further explain the internal workings of the oil mist filter. Inside the filter are several components. When oil mist enters the filter, it is pushed through the filter medium to the outside. The filter medium cleans the air, and the air then escapes and goes into the atmosphere. As the oil mist goes through the medium, oil droplets are left behind. These oil droplets then fill the basin at the bottom of the oil mist filter. As the catch basin fills with oil, droplets will escape through the tube below. This enables the oil to be recycled. The ball bearing inside the tube will help prevent either too much pressure or oil from coming up through the pickup tube into the filter. It has been suggested to prevent the oil from misting to the atmosphere is to remove the ball bearing and to replace it with a piece of wadded paper. I would not recommend this. If the tube is blocked, the oil that is collecting inside has nowhere to go and eventually can come through the filter through medium and drip out of the filter. If over time the oil in this filter medium becomes dirty and plugged up, then the manufacturer recommends instead of trying to clean it, it should be replaced. Information on replacement filters is due shortly. Now another thing you can do, and I'm sure this has happened to you, but when you take your lid off, sometimes you'll find this little o-ring sitting on top of the pump like that. Well, if that happens to you a lot, all you have to do is Let's clean this groove out here with a Q-tip or some tissue paper and you can just put a couple of dabs of black silicon adhesive in there and put that on top and that will hold this O-ring into place so it doesn't constantly fall out. So there's really nothing in here to clean. Uh, you can just make sure that that little uh, ball bearing inside there is clean. It has a, a, has a tendency to come, go back and forth. But that's all, new, that's all the service you can do on these things. So please do not clean these. Do not clean the medium inside. 
Uh, and that's pretty much it. I do have a replacement part number for this particular part. Uh, and I will reveal that shortly when I track down all the pieces for the rebuild, the premier pump. So thank you for your time. I hope you learned something. And just remember, just because you can doesn't mean you have to. Don't clean the element inside of here. It'll just cause you problems. But anyway, thank you for your time. Please subscribe, and we'll send, it, send you another video soon. And remember, go forth and freeze dry the world.